those women are not going to be able to afford to travel, right? The tr cost of travel, the cost of a hotel, the cost of all of that, to go to a place where it is safe and legal and doctor assisted. So we are looking at tragic outcomes. And so part of what we have to do right now is we have to continue to speak up about it. We have to continue to support the folks who are on the ground in those states who are helping those women. We have to support the folks who are you know, doing the nonprofit legal work and litigating against those laws. But I'm gonna tell you what I'm prepared to do as president. All of that work is the work we need to do on the defensive, but I'm also prepared to take this to the offensive as follows. So I was Attorney General of California. Woo! I ran the second largest Department of Justice in the United States. Yes. Wow. Yes. Second only to the United States Department of Justice. Mm. Right. And as president, I will require that for any state that has a history of interfering with a woman's access to reproductive health care, that any law they pass has to be cleared by the United States Department of Justice yeah. for constitutionality. Yeah. And until that law is cleared, it's called preclearance. Yeah. Until that law is cleared, meaning that it is in compliance with Roe v. Wade, yeah. it cannot go into effect. That's what I'm prepared for.